Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to war number two of season 21. This war for me goes much better than last one. So first up, Cap Marvel here. All I gotta do is knock her down with Doom, throwing on a light boost since I know that I'm basically just gonna be moving up to my next fight, letting uh, energy build up a little bit. So I'm gonna speed this up because it's a simple rotation with Doom of just Hit her a few times, knock her down, let the shock do its thing, because all the energy damage from his shocks are just going to do crazy amounts of damage, and then uh, we'll end up finishing her off with a special 3, because I left suicides on, so I didn't want to take any recoil damage, because I still need Doom for a later fight, trying to conserve items, managed to go 15 out of 15 on this one, uh, do use a combat regen, I think, later on to help stay topped off, but easy breezy. Cap Marble is no match for him. Mostly a diversity placement there. So the next fight coming up, I was stressing about all day. I've never done it. I've watched uh, Tater's videos. I've watched uh, and talked to him and some other people about this fight. So I'm going to boost uh, a little harder. Go with the 20%er champion and then kind of go into this fight, you know, play it in my mind. I want to heavy a bunch, get to my special three, and I know that I can't stack a ton of uh, of prowess, so it's basically just get to the special three, make sure he's knocked down, take off LMD, launch the special three. I've got the magic synergy for the heal block, so you will see here. Um, I am going to use an invul just in case he gets to the special three for some reason, and I don't want to die. I, I didn't like dying three times last war, so I don't want to die any this war. So this fight gets off to a great start, and you know, uh, it, I'll, I'll spoil it. It goes really, really well. Um, simple, and I'm always testing on the first parries anyway, no matter what the fight is, what their level of uh, limber is, right? Because I want to make sure. Now here's something, you see he purified that. Whenever you do this fight, you gotta watch. So whenever that fury on me goes away, any debuffs that you have on him, whether it's a stun, a heal block, etc., are gonna be purified. So you'll see me kind of back off um, on some of the, on, I think there's one or two spots where I'm like, you know, I need to just make sure this falls off and I don't land a parry and then it falls off like immediately. So the fight's going good, I just wanna build some more power. So right here, I know that he was gonna shrug that immediately because of my fury timer. So I wanted to back off after the parry. Uh, I felt like I was really playing in the zone at that point. Like, cool, okay, so this fight's going really well. Massive, massive uh, L2, or a heavy there. All right, so I know I'm coming down to the end of this, and all I have to do is knock him down, get my fury, and then see if I can't finish him off. So once this five hit didn't kill him, I was like, okay. I'm watching my timer, I was like, man, I got plenty of time for just a five hit combo, I don't need to heavy anymore. Boom, throw it, 12%. Didn't nail the 1%, but this is my first time doing the fight. I'll take 12% any day of the week. Uh, this is going to heal block him from regenerating, and then he's just going to bleed out. So, I was super pumped. Uh, definitely super nervous going into that. My right, my Magneto is only 6'2", and I'd seen people doing it with 6'3s. So, I was like, well, hope he's got enough, and it was plenty of firepower. I was also super stressed about this placement here. Now, it's only a 6'2 Sasquatch, but I know how he can be. I thought about healing, but a 6K potion was going to be too much. So, I was like, you know what? I've got two fights coming up. Let me just use this combat regen, and my whole plan here is to stagger him. So he's got the uh, Footloose, and he's gonna go un unstoppable and uh, be able to evade if he throws a special. So of course with Doom, it's just parry heavy. Get them staggers rolling, keep them rolling, and uh, of course he has kinetic transference too. So I gotta watch, uh, you know, how much uh, I let him hit into my block. So once I get close to a special three though, I wanna do a I think we got one more special here. I want to do a, uh, like a reparry. So you see me in just a moment, I'll block, reparry, because you see how much more power it gave him. Let's me go five hit into my special three and the fight at this point is pretty much over. Uh, he, it's kind of crazy to think, it's like, well he's at 80%, but it's like, 
No, once Doom gets in this rotation, uh, his first SP3 hits pretty hard. His second one will hit super hard. So back into the medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, SP1. I'm going to block. I don't want him throwing a special. There we go. Perfect. He gets all kinds of power. I get back to my special three. And I know it's going to push him to his special three, which is perfect. Exactly where I want to be. Now here's the second SP3. You'll see how much more damage it does in the first one. Over 20% of his health. What was that? Almost 45,000. Oh yeah. So now I know that I want to do a five, my normal rotation into the special two to kill him. It's, it's going to wipe him off the map no matter what. So yeah, I was super pumped with that. And I was like, man, that was way easier uh, than what I built up in my mind. So I'm glad to know that uh, Doom is a viable option there. He That, that fight was uh, pretty simple. So I let Work take down that uh, Mr. Fantastic because I didn't really have a good option for him. And then I've got this Silver Surfer. And of course, you know, a uh, Surfer can place the armor brakes on you when he throws a special or heavy. So I was like... I think it's a special. I could be mis misspeaking there, but at least on the heavy, he'll uh, armor break you. But since Doom is armor break immune, showing my boost one more time, still boosted with the 20. And uh, since Doom, like I said, is is armor break immune, uh, this fight is, I mean, it's about as straightforward as it gets. It doesn't even take very long. So it's just heavy's into special. Don't let him get, you know, it will keep him from getting his buffs. Nice little reparry there. And my plan here, um, I'm, I think I go to a special three, and I, because I know that, uh, I know that my special two won't incinerate him, but it does a lot of, it'll do a lot of damage, and you'll see me use one here uh, towards the later part of the fight. But yeah, Surfer just doesn't stand a chance against Doom. Doesn't have enough in his kit for Doom to even uh, think twice about it, really. It's always good to get the SV3 animation in. You kind of take a breather, think about what you're doing, what your next step is, but medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, special one, perfect. I know, like I said, I know right here, uh, he doesn't have a whole, he won't get incinerated. And I know this won't kill him, but dude, that did like 40K. Uh, so yeah, plenty of damage. And we'll just come in here, rinse it out with the heavy. Good night. So yeah, I was pretty pumped. I was like, man, I was stressing about those two or three fights, and uh, they end up being the easiest all war. So I'm going to speed up my boost here. This is me going into the final, um, my final push. I've got a mini boss and a uh, boss, a rank three apocalypse boss. And I'm going to be taking both these fights with magic. So throw on the 30%, the mystic boost and uh, whatever champ and health boost. Now, I did reset my mastery, so I've got on uh, just the double edge mastery. So that way she can heal from recoil. And this Sorcerer Supreme uh, gains a ton of power. So you just gotta be careful. I will be using a Power Start 1 boost uh, that'll carry over both these fights. And my plan, like always with magic, is if I'm in limbo right at the start of the fight, I'll start out blocking. And if I'm in limbo, I'm going to eat a combo. Okay, so I let off my block, take the heavy uh, to build power. Because I know that it's not going to hurt. So right here, she's, she was gaining crazy power. I was like, come on now. Come on. All right, here we go. Fight's under control. Don't even have to bait the SP1. I go for the reparry so she wouldn't throw it. And that's, once again, this is magic, doing what magic does. Uh, this fight is under control. She's power locked, doesn't stand a chance. She's not stun immune. So I'm going ahead and just kind of backing off and getting parries in, playing it safe. No reason for like stand up intercepts and anything risky. Although I did nail that stand up right there and I, and I do go for the intercepts. <laughs> so yeah, I lied. Uh, Still, still want to play it a little bit risky here. So power locks falling off, but uh, no big deal. Magic still got it under control. In limbo, taking a couple of blocked hits, no problem. I need to get out of limbo. There we go to heal back up. Perfect. Sitting at one bar. She's at 11%. This fight is uh, is is pretty straightforward in Magic. Um, any any fight that requires power control. If magic can get them locked down, it's game over. So here we go. All right, so boss number two of the season on me. I've not done this fight before. Um, I got smoked by an apocalypse on kinetic transference last war, which is mostly my fault. Um, not 
not dexing the uh, uh, just mistiming my decks with OGV, but Magic was the play there for sure. But it really worked out good. Uh, once again, I knew I was in limbo. I wasn't necessarily anticipating the bleed, but uh, I got a huge heal off of it. And I was like, well, okay. I mean, my goal with any fight with Magic is just get to my special two as fast as possible. So this dude has a ton of health. What was it, 500 and some odd thousand health. And I know that Magic's damage output is not like stellar, um, but she will get some 20, 30K SP2s in, which definitely helps build the power up. So the whole plan here, and this dude is like heavy, throwing machine um he does not mind like anytime i parry he only does yeah two hits i think is the most he ever did into my block before throwing his heavy and giving me an opening so i'm like okay sweet so this is going good the whole plan is to get him back into the corner and start doing what magic does uh, in terms of stand-up intercepts um, dash back intercepts etc and just keep him pinned lights out oh that was the start and i was like yep okay game on let's go and it, from here it's just kind of a long fight i mean 20k you know i was only doing like what less than five percent of his health on on decent special twos so i know that you know based on math i'm gonna have to launch at least 20 sp2s probably to, uh, to be able to rinse this guy down and, and of course, you know, high health pool. He's healing for, what is that, 195 a tick, so almost 400 per second. So as the fight goes on a minute, I mean, he's gonna heal, what's that, 25,000 per minute uh, that the fight goes on. So he's probably gonna heal like 50K at least. So that's always uh, the tough thing about Magic is that her power lock is going to extend the fight for sure. And you did see there where I, you know, sometimes they just don't want to come out. And I wasn't comfortable just doing, a, like, four hits, dash back, and do a light attack like I would with uh, Mojo or somebody. It's probably still the safest play, but I was just going for the mediums. A um, little bit more risky. And it, it, it was paying off. So if he doesn't come back out, I'm just going to beta heavy. Um, that's, that's the simplest thing to do, safest thing to do. And just keep him power locked. I don't want to deal with his specials. I don't want to deal with any of the other stuff he does because I can't. I've never seen a SP1 fully dexed, and I sure wasn't going to try to dex the SP2 because I know it can just straight up wreck you. So I'm under 50%, which is great. I'm in uh, courage range, and he is cooperating with my intercepts. He's being aggressive. Uh, you're going to see me catch one more combo. Uh, thankful. I don't. I'll have to see. I think that uh, Limbo kind of saves me a little bit on it too. She's so good for that. But they don't always cooperate. But he wants to, like I said, wants to throw that heavy like mad. Um, I probably didn't even need to play it as aggressive. Yeah, right there. Uh, if I wasn't in Limbo, I'd probably die. So I'm like, okay, I'm still outpacing him, but I know that I can't eat uh, another another combo to the face or else this fight is uh is over it's out of my control and if he's not completely pinned in the corner i'm not going for stand-up intercepts or anything anyway so going good i'm pretty confident at this point throw a huge l2 30 30 over 30k finish on the sp1 that is a rank 3 apocalypse boss solo with your girl magic be manny back in the game didn't die this war. Two for two on boss solos this season so far. I want to keep that up because uh, Taters has a new card coming out. So I'm, uh, I'm I'm gunning for that. And congratulations to Kenobi. I don't think the fight... Uh, the war is just about over. I'll post a screenshot uh, at the end. But uh, they did best us in this one. Hoping, hoping we can get our first victory of the season in War 3. See you in the next one. Take care.